as we uh, or that I set up yesterday. Um, so to set this up, it basically came in a crate. I had to obviously undo the crate it was in. Then we had to install these parts here. So we got this rototiller here. This is a little bit of a smaller one. We had another one that we set up yesterday, and now we're gonna start uh, setting up this one. It's already kind of coming out of the crate, got delivered in, so shouldn't be too bad to get this out. Um, so I'm gonna get this removed, gonna bring it into the shop here and get it all um, fastened up, put everything together, check the oils, make sure it has oil, and get it all set up, and then we're gonna hook it up on the uh, Kubota tractor. Okay, so we're here in the shop now. Yes, it's a bit dirty. That's a good thing because when we're doing pouring oil and stuff, we don't get the shop all dirty, all right? So this is actually strategic. Wink, wink. Anyways, so we got the uh, rototiller in here now. I got all the pieces here. Uh, I have no idea where any of these go. I'm just uh, kind of figuring this out. It doesn't come with a manual, but I'm assuming it's gonna be straightforward. I don't know what this is. If I can't figure out where to go, it'll be nice to have a little random extra bar in the shop. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, we got those two pieces. These ones here, so I think these, I know just by the look of this, this must be something that goes over top to be maybe where the three-point uh, hitch goes. I guess it's got, a, it's got three holes there, so it's a big one. I'm assuming that big one has to line up with the pin, and it's got to go something like that. Um, and we'll put the two on, so this will mount on there like that it'll be a little support thing when you unhook it it's got something to stand up on obviously the pto and then those bars so anyways i'm gonna figure this out and start putting this together so i'm gonna take this off and check if it has oil in it to begin with i think this is where you would check the level yeah no oil i'm gonna top this up with oil oh don't lose that all right so i'm gonna fill that up till it comes out there i know that'll be full then i'll check that one Check that out there. So I still haven't screwed this on, but even without screwing it on, you can see I'm missing about almost an inch, three quarters of an inch maybe, which is about what this thread is. So we're good. By the time it screws in, that should be right on the level, on the fill line. All the uh, bolts and nuts come in this bag here. So that's where all the pieces are. Was this supposed to go through there? Does that make sense? No. Guys, help me with this piece. I no clue what I'm doing here. All right, so I think this part goes underneath here. There's a couple, a couple of holes in there. There, I got one, two on the, on the side here. So I believe this piece goes in there like this. up these bolts again so I undid the bolts here to loosen this off see if that helps out a little more I think I did that right, I don't know. There's that piece. Still got no clue what those are for. <laughs> you have to figure out where those go and uh, get the little support on and the PTO and I think we're good to go. 
All right, finally figured out what these pieces are for. So it's just, I guess it's a reinforcement after a lot of uh, back and forth here trying to figure this out. But anyways, it's a back and forth and that's what these little sleeves are for, I guess. And the smaller one goes on the one where these will come inside. That's why it's smaller. And then there's a bigger one that once I tighten these and these, I'm assuming should be locking up with the same distance between. Okay, I'm gonna need a wrench on that. Wow. You'd think I'm an engineer coming up with that, eh? <laughs> you guys just didn't see all the blueprints and diagrams I had laid out with the theories and all the stuff and calculus and stuff before I figured this out, but yeah, we got it though. That's what matters. Now you guys might be thinking I'm tightening it really, really tight, but these things, they shake a lot when they're on the tractor and they bounce a lot. So I like to make sure everything's really nice and snug because things tend to come loose and it's even good to periodically go and check the bolts as I even did a once over. Uh, another thing to note is this one and the other one both had some loose bolts. In particular, the other rototiller we had set up over there, an orange one. That one had uh, a lot of loose bolts that came. So good thing I went over and I saw a bunch of them were like half coming off already. So I tightened everything before I went ahead. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna get the tractor and it's been greased, oil, everything's on now. Just need the PTO there, which I just gotta fasten onto here still. I think it's those four bolts. So I'm gonna get that on and hook this bad boy up to the tractor. All right, got the Kubota in here, our little L3010. And we're getting this set up. So I got the top part on there. I did have to do a little bit of a cut on either side of the P2 as well. It was a little bit long again to reach there. So like I couldn't fit it in. Nope, not in line. Come back a touch. Too much. for that one had them on here all right what we got here is the other rototiller that I set up yesterday um, so to set this up it basically came in a crate I had to obviously undo the crate it was in then we had to install these parts here on each side the where the uh, three-point hitch connects to this piece here had to be fastened on this protector piece and uh, the PTO which I actually had to cut about an inch and a half but I'd say about two inches off each side to make it fit here because it was a little bit long for this tractor um, it wouldn't we couldn't connect it otherwise and uh, yeah and then obviously I had to put oil in it grease it. it had no oil in either one of this this has got a dipstick here so top that up with some gear oil and this side here as well so yeah, basically got it all set up, greased up, everything good to go. I know it's on a big tractor, but it's pretty big for us, for our farm. Like it's pretty wide across. So we, we used to have one before, but it was always inside the tire. So the tires would be too wide. So this one is nice. You got about, I would say about four to six inches on each side of the, each side of the tire. So it's actually nice. This way you can actually till and you won't be seeing wheel marks left behind. And yeah, gonna make nice, uh, nice job tilling up that land so we can plant stuff here for the season. It is set up on our case DX40 tractor that we kind of have around the farm here just to do a little farm stuff like like the garden and moving things around and the nice thing about the case tractors are um, the uh, attachment here that just like the skid steer we can attach pretty well anything you can put on the skid steer we can put on the tractor forks buckets like whatever kind of attachments we want so that's super handy so we like this one to be around the farm here we got a video of the uh, rototiller here actually working.
I'm just gonna roto-till all those old uh, beans there. It's all from last year's stuff. I'm gonna till this little section of the garden.